Hey there, here's a short video on a Harbor Freight trailer that I bought used and it's one of those folding trailers and to be honest with you, I wasn't real comfortable with the way it uh, pulled with the stock setup and those hinge pins and also I, I wanted to extend the, the uh, tongue length about a foot so this thing will follow the car a little bit easier, a little uh, less bouncy and also it'll just be easier to back up. So what I did is I got a 2x2 two two, and it's about uh, 6 feet long the way it is and that gives me about a, another foot of extension compared to where, where it was before. What I did is I cut the uh, original coupler here a little bit short, use the hitch, hitch pin to go through the first part, and I put another hitch pin, second second one at the first cross member, and then here's the second or the other half of the original coupler, and I put the third hitch pin back there on the second cross member. What I also did was uh, take the A-frame, I didn't, I just cut, a, I think about two inches off the front, didn't have to do much, just the, the first set of bolts, and I was able to tie it in to the first cross member, and back to the second cross member, and I did, I have some plates, one inch plates, and I secured those on the side of the frame, I was able, able to use some existing bolts, existing bolt here, I went through the existing bolt on the back of the A-frame, added this bolt hole, and if you look here, I also, uh, on the inside, was able to add a bolt here, going through the, uh, the side rail to give it strength. So I have uh, one here, and one at the first cross member, and another one second cross member, and here's the side plate again. The, the, I did half inch grade 5 everywhere on this, is grade 5, half inch, the other ones are the original. And also I uh, added a little flat bar for extra strength on the second cross member, see if you can see that. And then same on the first cross member, I added some flat bar all the way across to give it strength and made a plate to where uh, I made my own brackets for the hitch pin to go through. So here's the hitch pin, brackets, and grade 5 bolts I added. And uh, some of these bolt holes has, are, were existing, so I was able to use existing bolt holes. This bolt hole is already there going through the first member, and this is the same, the original bolt hole, one of the original bolt holes on the A-frame. And for a cross member, I, I, uh, a few years back I installed a wood stove, I had to tear out the, uh, the damper, dampener on the chimney. So this is the original, so this is actually a dampener from about a 50 year old house. And I cleaned it up real good and painted it, and that gives it a lot of structure. Side to side motion ties the A-frame back together really well. And I actually put in, uh, let's see if you can see them, three bolts on each side going to the cross member. So these bolt holes were both already there on the cross, on the A-frame. And I added a third one back here. So there's three. Like I said, this thing adds a lot of rigidity. In fact, just this whole set up with the A-frame and the tongue going through it just makes this thing just so much more sturdy and stout. It doesn't bounce anywhere like it did before so I'm real pleased with that. And um, Well another quick thing is I put the hitch pins in and this 2x2 this, uh, two two slides out. So it comes out, remove the three hitch pins, slides right out. And then I'm able to still fold the trailer up and this is 24 inches from the first cross member to the end of the A-frame. When I fold it up, that allows me about a 2 inch clearance to fold it inside my garage which has an 8 foot ceiling. So I kind of did a little bit of a copy from the uh, Northern Tool trailer where it has the, the tongue that folds down, swings down, but it has a, uh, the A-frame part coming in the front and that trailer folds up and um, you could store that also in a, a garage. So, just some ideas. Somebody else might want to uh, make it make the trail a little bit stronger and pull a little bit nicer.